So guys, right, amateurs shooting lower scores. Interesting video here for you. How many greens do you hit in regulation? What's your handicap and how many greens are you hitting? We're gonna get into that. In this video, we're gonna be exploring a couple of different areas, a couple of surprise areas, essentially breaking them down, improving them so that you can lower your scores. All right now, let's have a quick look here, guys. And if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Plenty of videos coming your way. Guys, let's have a look here at Handicap Zero. 57% of greens are regulation. Now, this is an international statistics. You know, often played at courses that perhaps aren't the most difficult out there compared to tour events with thick rough, you know, the back markers, tough championship conditions. Handicap one to five, 48% of the greens. So every second hole, they've got to get it up and down. Okay, so that's interesting. All right, when we're looking as the handicaps get higher, six to 10, 37%, 28%, and obviously it's a short game, often the senior players here, players perhaps not hitting the ball all that well, the short game plays an important part of improving, but ball striking is king. The best players in the world are hitting it the best, we know that for a fact, we know that from statistics. So we're gonna have a look at better iron play, pure contact, consistent contact, clean contact, looking at the shaft lean, looking at the, the fundamentals, the characteristics, the hallmarks of great iron players. And then we're gonna take a peek and explore certain areas, other areas, couple of surprises in this video, guys. Can't wait to share it with you. Let's get stuck into it. Let's get stuck into some factual evidence-based instruction and get you on the path to playing some better golf. So solid contact, just getting solid contact consistently over 18 holes are just you know just hitting it clean it's just such an important part of the game let's have a look at how we can get better contact get better ball and ground contact here first off you know when you're looking at the masses of the people out there getting yourself set up with a little bit more weight on your left foot left leg you know getting the shaft in one line shaft and left arm in one line this is really getting us closer to the position where we need to be now we need to have you know some lateral shift and we need the body opening for a lot of people out there if we get ourselves set up in a great place at the start just by leaning this shaft over now we have you know around 12 degrees of shaft lean at impact in your address position someone like a McElroy you can get around 10 at the start by really getting the hands further forwards on the inside of this lead thigh. Now what we need from there is a little bit of a push forwards, a little bit of lateral shift and some opening. So we can get this right knee to cover the ball. You know, getting the, the left side to, you know, clear and extend a little bit and getting ourselves to move forwards. So assuring that we're getting ourselves set up 60%, we're feeling a little bit more pressure on that left foot, you know, getting ourselves set up with the hands a little bit forwards. You can keep yourself centered from here. You're gonna come back down in the impact, get that right knee to cover the golf ball. You're gonna get yourself much more solid contact, ball, ground. Basic, clear, simple, but really, really effective. So guys, right, how strong are you mentally? Are you mentally strong? Do you have it together out on the golf course? Can you tap into the right mood? Or are you struggling at times? Let's have a look at uh, some basic things and we'll have a look at a way that we can get ourselves in the right direction and tapping into the right resources. Obviously the mind plays an important part in sport and golf. It has to, right? Okay, the things you can't control. Generally speaking, if you're thinking about these things on the golf course, you're just completely in the wrong area. Right, it's not helping you. So we're gonna take a look at both, what you can control and what you can't control, what other people think. Now this is a big one. What your friends think, you know, people looking at you on the first tee, what your coach, what your dad, what the family, who knows what other people think. But unfortunately, if we're thinking about that, we're not thinking about the things that we can control. This is for some people quite difficult. The future and the past. Now, how often does this affect us on the golf course? You know, you're, you're thinking perhaps about maybe winning the event. You might be six under par coming to those last closing holes. You were thinking about your speech even, or you know, what people are gonna say and all those type of things. And the past, you might have just had a triple bogey or a double bogey and we're still stuck there and you're counting up your putts because you've had a whole heap of putts so that you can tell your friends how many putts you've had and you're not even finished. The future, the past, we've got to try and stay in the pre present not easy to do, but we'll talk about that coming up. Other things we can't control, bad luck happens all the time. 
the weather, your score, you can't directly affect it, you can't think about it. Your playing partners, you might be playing with an idiot. <laughs> it happens all the time, doesn't it? But you can't really control the things you can't control and the conditions on the golf course. Guys, in this area, if you are thinking in this area, you have troubles. What you need is a second Craig. I'm Craig, here's the second Craig. This Craig asks the first Craig. Craig, where are you at the moment? Are you thinking about things you can't control? Are you running your mind or is your mind running you? Let's have a look now at the things that we can control and that'll help us get on the path to playing, hopefully, our best golf. So guys, right, the things that you can control. Now this is the area, the mind has tremendous momentum and if it's used, you know, in both directions, but if it's used effectively and we can tap into these resources, you know, we can get ourselves in the right area and who knows, if, even every now and again find the zone. The body language, use and move your body confidently, the mind and the body, they're on the same page. We often see how people, how they think uh, just by looking at how they're walking and moving. So you fake it before you make it, use a bit of flair, twist the club in your fingers, walk like Greg Norman or Fred Couples. This way, move and use your body confidently and it can transform and change your mood. Fighting off certain moods. Self-talk, talk to yourself in a friendly voice. We're seeing people throwing clubs out there, we're seeing people calling themselves idiots, all those type of things. But talk to yourself in a friendly voice. It's a difficult game, we're allowed to make mistakes, and that's a good place to be. Distracting yourself between shots. Now this is a huge one, isn't it? Like we've heard Annika Sorensen that was writing, you know, two of her favorite songs in the back of the scorecard, walking down the hole between shots, humming a song until it was stuck in her head. And if you were walking along and you got your eyes up and you're thinking about your body language, you're humming a song, you're not going into the future you're not going into the past, and you're distracting ourselves, because we can only concentrate for so long. I think, you know, Jack Nicholas kept mentioning, you know, over the years, stay in the present, but how, Jack? You know, we're not all Jack, and that's, he's just such a brilliant individual, and, you know, but some of us need some help to be able to distract ourselves. But humming a song is a great one. We've heard about from many other great sporting champions, Michael Clark, the cricketer from Australia. Your routine you can control, your breathing and etc. And it's great to have little lists like this. And one of the things that we look at in uh, worldclassgolf.com is, you know, having a little bit of a list with you with five or six points. It's not like you're walking around all day thinking how to think. But just to pull it out sometimes and have those checkpoint points, and we're all different. If you are the type of person that thinks a little bit about too much about what other people think, and if you need a few of these reminders, it can really help you get on the right path to fighting off certain moods and finding those optimal moods where we find that zone where we do play the best golf we've ever played. The mind, such an important area, guys. Get stuck into it because it's really gonna help you out. We're gonna be looking here at how to practice a little bit and how to notice some of the things in your impact in your finish position. Uh, I, it's, I can guarantee you that the number one reason why people are chipping and pitching poorly is because of their finish position and their impact position. So guys, you can't, nobody's going to do this for you. We're in Australia at the moment and I'm just getting drilled by these flies. Guys, let's have a look at this end position and how we can practice it a little bit for your standard low to medium type of greenside shot here. All right, so we're looking at when we're going through, we're looking at the trail wrist having a curve in it, the lead wrist being level flat, and the shaft in the left arm being in one extension. We're looking at keeping the right hand, the right palm pointing upwards, skywards on this type of shot. And it's going to look something like this. Okay, into the finish. Now, what we can do is when we have this finish position, if we can, we can mimic it from here, guys. We can actually, we've rotated the body a little bit, trail wrist with the curve, left wrist flat, shaft and left forearm in one line. We can swing back from there and into the finish. I want you guys to look down at that and notice that. If you notice that you've got no angle in the trail wrist and the left wrist is cupped, then readjust it, rotate the body through. You almost have the trail knee over the lead heel, the body's rotating and trapping that shot and finding this position. Now I'll just make a mistake here guys because this is something that I see a lot. We're going to flip one up here now and hit it fat. All right now 
We can see the finish position. If you do that, if you do flip it, it will bottom out, but you can re-correct it into this position here, swing back, and find it again. This end position gives great feedback, guys. As I said, nobody can do it for you. You're gonna to have to notice this position. When you're practicing, look down at your hands, imitate, mimic this position, practice it, and get it into your game. So guys, feedback, lower scores, playing better golf, filming your swing, filming it when you're playing well, filming it when you're not playing well, keeping your tendencies at bay. How long do we play good for? Just a couple of weeks and something creeps in. And having your swing saved when you're you know, hitting great drives or great seven irons and noticing your setup, just getting a lightweight tripod, this thing folds up into such a, like this big, you throw it in your golf bag, you've got these little clips, they're just a few dollars. You know, have a look when you watch professional golfers. Nobody's not filming their swings. And on worldclassgolf.com, this is what we're showing people to do. Become your own coach. Work on the things that top coaches are really working on, top players are working on. This is what you're showing you guys. You have to film your swing. We'll show you how to set up your phones. We've got a, a great app from V1 Golf there and showing you what line to draw. You have to film your swings. One of the essential things for lowering your scores. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of World Class Golf Instruction.